right guys rise and shine we're here walking up to this beautiful morning and the wind it's still windy but it died down a little bit enjoying well starting to enjoy the beautiful day and i don't even know what time it is but i'm guessing it's around eight something because the sun is all the way up there so um so far so good glad we got to enjoy uh, yesterday and now today too so uh let's get the day started okay guys so if you like boating the sandbar life fishing and the miami style living make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on all notifications so like that you'll get all the future videos nine o'clock in the morning and look at this look at them sleepy hands Falling. well while some sleep late others are up and early starting on this beautiful day As the morning got later, more boaters started to show up. time it is guess what time it is it is breakfast time and look at the look we have a waiting line what are you guys waiting for food food yeah what, what probably know how to do z we got chef big mama in la casa and thanks again to align and hesa because we're saving my life because i did forget the sartén. again <laughs> she forgot the frying pan okay. so we have our fellow neighbor boaters that lenders use the their electric pan, so we have breakfast. Actually, this is better. I'm gonna she for forgot that. the pan. Yeah, but you and know what? This gave me an idea. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get one of these. It's better than the other one. Oh, it's better? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I can put six at the same time. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Yes. So this, to me, this is the million dollar view breakfast right here. Look at that. Look at that. Never get tired of that. Right? Look at this guy. This is the second. This is the second round. Yes. First. Worth a million dollars to me. Simple. Remember guys, if you want to support the channel, it's really easy and free. All you have to do is like the video, maybe comment something you like about it, and share with your friends. you guys can really tell on the camera but the water here is super clear and we're about 10 feet deep and you can see the bottom that's a good thing about Elia Key here the water is very very clear and if you guys remember yesterday yesterday was kind of choppy because of all the wind today we have zero wind so that's a good thing I might just jump in the water and uh, enjoy the, the new raft I like it. Something I didn't even know how big it was, but it's pretty cool. I guess I'm gonna jump on it. And yeah, but like you notice, I'm out here by myself because Gabby and Big Mama are sleeping. Break on your left with their friends. So I'm just here by myself and enjoying the scenery. But it feels great to come out of the house. Uh, once in a while, uh, the state park officer comes around make sure everybody is following the 50 feet distancing I mean just everybody you know as long as you follow the rules you know we can still use our boats you know so just keep it safe guys and let's keep enjoying the day
Well, I guess it's a little different because normally at the sandbar, you know, uh, you get to walk around. Because uh, the thing is, they don't allow you to go to the islands or to the sandbar or tie up. So basically, you're just lingering in the water and just enjoying the beautiful view and the weather. Uh, and I guess if you have a floating device or a little dinghy, because a lot of people here have, have dinghies and they're just cruising around, you know, sightseeing. You know, that will be a good idea um, to do because basically you're just going to hang out on the boat, have lunch. And basically that's all you do, you know, in the situation we're in until things go back to normal. But I mean, I guess something is better than nothing, I always say. So at least we're out here, you know, enjoying the, like I said, the beautiful uh, part of Elia Key. I don't know what's going on. It's already summer and the water here is cold. It must be like 80, I don't know, 84, 81, I don't know. So to me, that's cold. I know for you guys up north, that's warm. But for me down here, that we're used to like in the 90s, this is cold. So that's all you can do. Guys, so guess what time it is? Yup, it's lunch time. And actually, it's been very quiet lately. I mean, everybody's minding their own business. Everybody's hanging out on their own boat. Uh, that's pretty good. No parties, just, you know, just everybody doing their thing, you know, and, and just enjoying the water. But it's time to go get some lunch. And guess what we have? Pork chops. Ooh. Pork chops. And if you notice, I'm here by myself because Big Mama, she was out here taking pictures with me. But and Gabby are in the cabin now enjoying the AC because the water is cold, but it is hot outside. I don't understand that. It feels like it's 90 degrees outside because it's sunny. So I guess let me get lunch started, you know, for the hungry peoples. Oh, have you noticed too? The ramps closed early today. By 9, 9, 9 30, most all the ramps in Dade County were closed. And it was supposed to be, I think, 40% chance of rain today. Well, that's what the forecast said on Friday. So, go figure, right? Florida weather. So, uh, let it cook. And, I don't know. I guess we might be going home kind of early because, um, actually, last night, we slept kind of bad because it was so windy that the water kept on knocking on the hall. And it, and it was like somebody knocking on the door. So, me and my instincts couldn't go to sleep. So, uh, I had a bad night of sleep. So, maybe after lunch, when the kids come back, we'll head out and, uh, go home kids are back and they came hungry because they had a great time going around with their friends and their dinghy now the problem is now they say they want one so you know how that goes but I guess it's a good idea because they could go fishing on their own and when things go back to normal they can even go island exploring Almost gone. See the vultures? The only common one is food. All vultures. That one, that one, and the one over there hiding. Look at that. Remember how big that was? Why? Look, look how big they were. Look at that. It's already gone. Oh, we got fire, fire, fire again. All right, guys. So finally, after two great days here spent at Elia Key, it's about that time. It's time to pick up and go home. And like you know, 
notice we have Captain Fresquito driving the boat and me enjoying the view. Like you notice, we have a smooth chop on the right back. Now that was a smooth, enjoyable ride, but we noticed the closer we got to the marina, bad weather started to build up. Wow. It is raining. Look at that. Woo. You're trying to, you're trying to skip it. Look at that thing. It looks scary. Well, the cloud turned out to be bigger than what I thought. And you know when it's warm out and you're on the water, all of a sudden you feel that chill, cold air coming, you know you're gonna get wet. So, like you see, saved again by the icing glass and we got caught in the rain. So we're just gonna wait here because I don't wanna get wet loading up the boat. You gotta do what you gotta do. I don't mind, I prefer to be here than running around the ramp uh, getting wet because the rain is cold. So we're just hanging out in front of the ramp. As soon as it clears up, we add it in. But, uh, I guess the cloud is pretty big, right there on the radar, picking it up. We're right in the center, see? Hopefully it, once it leaves us, or it rains out, then we'll go to the ramp. So, in the meantime, we're just gonna hang out. Yeah. Look, look at the folks. Look at the city folks. They don't wanna get wet. Look at the city folks. I mean, you're chilling. You work. You're the one who doesn't want to get wet. Yeah, because I'm the one who's gonna get wet. But you know what? After sitting around about 30 minutes or so, I noticed it's starting to get worse. So I decided to go ahead in and take my chances. And yes, I did get wet, and it was very hard because it's being so windy to park the boat on the slip. And thanks to my crew that are very well trained, we got the boat on the trailer. But it was very tricky, and we had to deal with the bad weather on the road. But we made it home safe, so see you guys next time.